Let's talk about a kinesiological stretching approach to isolate the problem areas of the muscle. While each head of the hamstring is targeted individually due to its problematic nature, let's talk about the long head of the bicep femoris and how it's approached. Most standard anatomy text describes the muscles as the flexor of the knee, extensor of the hip, and lateral rotator of the semi-flexed knee. However, the muscle is also a lateral rotator of the hip. In simplest term, it in the medial rotation, which is opposite of what the muscle does, to the mix will focus on the lateral hamstrings. The muscle is also a weak horizontal extensor that is very important. So that in and an elusive muscle fibers become targetable and isolatable. However, holding a passive stretch, even targeted, is not an optimal kinesiological stretching technique, although that alone is an improvement on standard general stretching technique, which are very non-specific in their applications. In next segment, we'll talk about the hallmark of kinesiological stretching technique called target and leverage, which is a step up from relaxed stretches, even the targeted ones as described a minute ago. To obtain deeper understanding of the kinesiological stretching technique, stay tuned for part 4 or visit easyflexibility.com.